Do you want to get in shape and start working out, but you just can't find the motivation and you end up hating it? You hate being physically active? Well, that's what we're talking about in today's video, how to actually motivate yourself to be physically active. So hello everyone, my name is Autumn Masvidal and I am a coach to help you live your best life and find your true purpose. And you can schedule a free consultation over at autumnmasvidal.com slash coaching. And today's video is about exercise. Enjoy the video. Why do you despise working out? What is it that makes you dislike it so much that you procrastinate and end up not doing it? Do you have any pre-existing ideas in your mind that is that it's too hard, too time consuming, too much work, or perhaps won't pay off? If so, you need to drop those right now since those ideas that are preventing you are solely in your mind. As much as we may deny it, our inability to work out is often unjustified and based on ideas and ex expectations we form within our mind. Perhaps we lack motivation and the task feels daunting to us. This is often because we haven't formed a routine yet. It's imperative to have a time dedicated to working out since without a schedule, you go about your usual daily activities and events without giving it any thought. Start small with a few minutes and have a plan with the workout. Secondly, consistency is key. There is no need to work out every single day, rather a few times a week will, will do. Have the time of day and day of the week for you when you dedicate to working out. This can be as simple as walking one some days and harder workouts on others. Exercise is one of those things that we know would help us be healthier but a lot of us lack motivation to be able to do it. And why is that? It's because it's that initial thing that is so hard. If you're watching TV, if you're laying down, oh, the hardest thing is just getting up and starting to move, right? That is the hardest thing, is once you start doing it, it's not that hard. Forming a routine, also very hard. You may be very dedicated initially, like New Year's resolutions that people make, initially they're going to be su successful at it. But then after a few weeks, it's gone. They lose that motivation. And it's because people also want instant gratification. If you can't see results within two weeks, there's no point in doing it, right? Well, there are plenty of things at play here. And when it comes to your motivation, you have to be a bit more dedicated. You have to be able to focus more and give it more time and make it part of your routine. Set aside some, some time and a place and just do it. If you are lost when it comes to a workout, you can either go on to a personal trainer or watch workout videos online or try a workout app that guides you. This will help you be motivated for a set time. Realize your goals for working out. These should be something along the lines of being healthier and feeling better. Losing weight can be a goal, but don't set it as a primary goal. Instead, that is a secondary goal that comes with being healthier. However, be conscious of negative goals, since if you set the goal to lose weight and you don't see results in a reasonable time, then you may feel discouraged and frustrated causing you to stop. If you have a disability or are really unhealthy, it's imperative to be patient with yourself and listen to your body. Don't rush. The worst thing you can do is wear yourself out too soon before any progress is made. So as with anything in life, the slower you take it, going at your own pace and increase as time goes on, the better. Remember, the hardest part of working out is setting the time and doing the first move. The mo more you develop the habit, the easier it gets. The workout may be challenging, which, is, which it should be, but the act is getting started is what you have to get down first. Let me know how this works for you. Have a great day. I have been working out for many, many years. I do... I use an app that kind of is like a personal trainer, like a coach, and that has helped me significantly significantly focus on certain body parts, like it could be my abs, it could be my upper arms, it could be the legs, it could be stamina, it could be more strength. It, it's a variety of different things, but you have to find out what works best for you. I like a variety of different things. And being able to dedicate some time, even if it's just maybe on one day, just five minutes, or another day, maybe it's 15, 20 minutes. So it depends on the day, but you have to be able to get that in for the day. 
And I know for, for me personally, if I don't work out for the day that I have scheduled, which is not every day, it's maybe three or four times a week. If I don't do it on the day that I'm supposed to, I feel worse. Like I just didn't accomplish what I wanted to do. So you have to be willing to be able to actually do it. And that's what I do. And I feel so much better. Be sure to check out the amazing merchandise over at Asphodel Shop for some inspiring designs. I'm sure you will find some amazing things there. Also become a member, $5 up and above will get you early access to new content months before anyone else has public access to it. So I want to thank you all so very much for tuning into this video. Let me know what your thoughts are on this topic and I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.